guys, I'm here to do a uh, interesting video today. Uh, as it is Halloween, and usually around that time of year in October, I usually do read a lot of um, scary, spooky stories. Anyway, uh, a lot of people do that too, so I'm not alone. Now, instead of just telling you what books I would like to read, I'm going to offer you guys the opportunity to pick a couple of books that you would like me to read and review. Um, I'm going to try and read four out of this pile. Whether I get to them or not, that's a different story, but I've picked them out and so I guess it just really depends on my mood and which books that you guys feel like you would like me to read and review. Also, I've picked books that have um, different creatures in them. So I've got a variety of creatures and a variety of books here. So I'm going to get started. So for my zombie pick, I have pulled out Ashes by Isla G. Bick. J. Beck. Um, this is my partner's copy. He hasn't got around to reading it because he probably doesn't even know it exists because it's been in my room for so long. Um, but this is a book that I have been wanting to read for a while. I would like to give it back to him, um, but I don't have to straight away. But uh, when I thought of zombies, this book came to mind, so that is one option. Um, so that's your zombie option. And I'll try and see if I can link up some Goodreads um, links for people who haven't heard about the book before and want to read up about it and then decide, or if you have read it or would like to read it and want to hear a bit more about it, these books, just let me know. Then uh, for Angels, I've picked up Mercy by Rebecca Lim because this book's been on my bookshelf for a long time and I haven't read an Angel book for a long time and I don't really feel like continuing any series at the moment. I would like to just sort of get into some worlds that I haven't explored yet. So Mercy is the Angel choice. It's a very beautiful cover. I still need to get Fury, but I'm going to wait until I to see if I like the series first even though I would really like to collect the whole series. So that is The Angels. Now we have Fae. Now as you guys may or may not know, I'm not a fan of fairies or Fae, but if the book is done right, then I will enjoy it. So I have picked up The Iron King by Julie Kagawa, which is a book that I have heard non-stop great things about, and I've also heard some uh, mixed reviews about it as well. But I've had this on my bookshelf since I picked it up, and duh, and um, I would really like to get to it and see if I like it or not. I have the whole series, simply because I just like collecting those sort of things. So hopefully I like it, but if not, no. Nah. But uh, this is the Fae Fairy option that you guys can choose from. It's a very beautiful book. Um, I've also tried to choose books that have decent font because a lot of the books uh, I have pulled off my shelf have very small font as well so I'm going to be keeping that in mind as well when I choose which books to read, uh, which books I feel like reading at the time. So that is the Fae. And then I have chose Eon, I think, I believe it is the first book, um, by Alison Goodman, uh, which I believe is about dragons. So something I haven't read before, or I've read before, but I haven't read in a long time and it's not something I usually read. And I picked this up at the uh, crime convention I went to last year. I know they had a couple of um, YA books by authors, um, Australian authors, so I picked this one up and I picked Irina up. Um, I'm pretty sure this is the first book, but if not, just let me know. So this is definitely going to be my dragon option. So yeah. Then for werewolves, I've picked up Nightshade by Andrea Kramer. Now I've been meaning to pick this up all year, but I haven't really had a chance to do it. Uh, I almost did, and then I read something else, and I just wasn't in the mood to read something as big. And this one has really small writing, same as um, this one, like it's very, very small for me. So it's going to take me a lot longer to read these kind of books um, than it would for to read any others. So make sure when you do pick, it's a definite decision that you would really like me to read that book because I'm going to probably spend a lot of time reading it. 
Um, so yeah, Nightshade, which is the first book in the series. Uh, I haven't got any other books yet because I wanted to see if I like this book first. And I don't have the one of the deckled edges, which I wish I did. But I have the Australian version of it, which isn't as pretty, but it's okay. It still has that like weird thing. And yeah. So I'm not interested in reading this one. I'm interested in reading all these books. Um, I think it's just a bit, a bit more fun for you guys if I give you the options and it kind of helps me choose a little bit as well. And then for a kind of like a, I feel like this would be a really good book to read in October kind of book that I have been wanting to read um, but saving it for a good for when I feel like reading it. And that is Clarity by Kim Harrington. And I've been wanting to read this for so long. It sounds so perfect. It sounds just exactly what I feel like reading. Um, and I have heard mixed reviews about this book. But I think I still like to read it anyway. I have Perception as well in the same kind of covers. So I have a second book if I feel like reading it. Um, but yeah, I this one is one that I think I would really enjoy. So that is for, I guess you can call, I, I kind of chose this because it's like telepathy and psychic and medium, so it's kind of like, um, yeah, it's just that, uh, you know, Halloween-y kind of feel to it, so I definitely chose that one. Definitely picked that one. Uh, for Witches, I picked up Born Wicked by Jessica Spotwood. Again, this book I've been meaning to pick up for ages. I was actually going to pick it up in September, but I just don't think I'm going to have time to read it, as you guys already know. So maybe, if you guys are interested, I can read it in October. And I would really like to read it in October. Uh, it still has the um, stuff it came with in. Yeah. But, again, one I have been looking forward to. It's so beautiful. It feels so nice. I look at it and I go, oh, yeah. And um, witches are something I don't read a lot about, uh, except for Harry Potter and things like that. But I don't really read too much witch books either. Um, they're not as hated as, well, not as disliked as Faze. I just haven't really read many um, witchy books. I used to love the Sabrina series and things like that. So maybe I'm looking to get back into those kinds of books because, um, yeah, I really like that. Then I chose Possessed by Gretchen McNeil. Uh, another beautiful, stunning cover, another book that I have heard lots and lots about, one that I have again tried to pick up many times and just forgotten about it. Um, I love these kinds of stories, I love books about exorcism and demons and things like that, so that's why I bought the book in the first place. Um, it does scare me, Those, these actual topics do scare me, so it's kind of a trigger point for me. So. Um, to be to pick up this book, I sidestepped my own fears and actually picked it up. So that's probably a good choice. Um, but yeah, I'm really looking forward to reading this. I heard that she has a new book out, which is I believe is called Ten, and that sounds very, very, very good, very fascinating. But I would really like to get to her first book to see what her writing style is like before I go and purchase Ten, because of obviously not spending too much money. So yeah. But if you guys decide for me to read it, uh, I'll definitely read it. And lastly, um, this one is sort of like ghost related and this one I definitely plan on reading in October. Um, this, I, The rest of these ones you guys have a definite say in, but this one I am definitely reading in October. I have been planning to read this in October all year. Um, and that is Anna Dressed in Blood, Blood by Kendia Blake. I have been wanting to read it all year, I've just been saving it for October, and I know how silly that sounds, but it just, it, it was a perfect book, and I really would like to open October with it, so I'm pretty sure if things go well, I will be opening October with this book, so guys, this book is a definite, this book will be getting a review, hopefully I read it, hopefully, fingers crossed, I'm going to be attempting to, definitely, um, We'll see how things go, but I definitely want to read this book. I cannot wait to read it, and if I like it, I will definitely be picking up the next book in the series. So, I'm going to show you in two parts, because otherwise it's going to be too heavy to hold. So, those are the creatures, and I haven't picked Vampire because I just... 
want to read different um, creatures that I'm not used to reading, and I really am used to reading vampires. I'm also kind of used to reading like zombies as well, but not as much. So these are di just different um, character, uh, different creatures that I normally don't read. So I want to um, expand my reading and get into some other books as well. So these are a few. So we have ghosts, demons, witches, psychics, werewolves. And then we have dragons, fairies or fae, uh, angels and zombies. So I'm going to put them in my room, I'm going to keep them aside. So if you guys, I'll probably give you guys about a week or so to just comment. So whatever comments I get on my videos probably will be the um, comments that I work my pile off of. Also I'm thinking maybe I might um, find a way to put this question up somewhere else but for now for those who do watch my videos please let me know and please let me know what books you would like me to read um yeah so thank you guys for watching and i hope you enjoyed and i can't wait to speak to you later. bye